Hello and welcome to today's Bitrix 24 webinar, Next Level CRM. Thank you for joining today. Uh, just to introduce ourselves, so who are we? We are Bitrix 24 Gold Partners Interface and my name is Sam Connor. I'll be running you through the Next Level CRM webinar today. And our team here at Interface, we're based in the UK, in the US and Hong Kong. And we offer a full range of services to help you with Bittrex 24, starting off with pre-sale support. So we can discuss your requirements and check really if Bittrex 24 would be a good system for your business. We can then provide a full implementation service, setting up the, the CRM system, for example, that we're gonna run through today. If you are looking at a self-hosted edition, we offer hosting services for the self-hosted license, and we can provide you with training and ongoing dedicated support to really help you get the most out of Bittrex 24. Okay, so if you come to the webinar today to, to learn about Bittrex 24, let's just go through actually what Bittrex 24 is. So it is, in essence, a collaboration suite of well in excess now of 35 plus tools to help you in managing your business. And specifically today, we're gonna to be looking at the CRM and also parts of the marketing module. So those are the key areas we're going to be looking at today. There are over 8 million customers now around the world that use Bittrex 24 to manage their business. And it is voted regularly within the top 10 CRMs globally. The system is available in two different editions. So you can have the system as a cloud edition or a self-hosted solution. And prices start from around $19 per month for a cloud license and a self-hosted system starting with the 12 user package is available for $1,490. Okay then, so moving on to why would you use Bittrex24 for your CRM? So that's a really important question to really go through from the start here as we're going to go into the next level CRM webinar. So first of all, using Bittrex24 allows you to automate, and we're going to see very quickly in the webinar today how it links different aspects, for example, lead generation. So we have a marketing suite in the Bittrex24 system that allows you to send out marketing campaigns, which can then link with sites that you build in Bittrex. And all of that connection allows you to generate leads very quickly. So once you've captured those leads, you can then qualify them in the CRM system. And we'll see how we can fully customize the stages that a lead goes through. So the CRM system is very customizable to your specific sales process. And we'll work through that sales pipeline. It allows you to build a 360 degree picture of your customer activity. So we'll see how we can integrate with our mail provider. So all of your communications, any notes, any documents, they're all stored against the associated contact in your CRM. So you don't have to go to different systems to capture different intelligence on your customers. Okay, and we'll also look at how we can monitor your team's effectiveness. So we're going to look at some of the reporting features. Bittrex24 has a variety of analytical and reports that you can then analyze your sales from not just yourself, but all of your members of your team who are working in your CRM system. And in the webinar today, we're going to cover several different areas. So first of all, we're going to look at how we can generate leads using the tools in Bittrex24. We're then going to have a look at an overview of the CRM module. And then we're going to do a case study. So we're going to walk through from generating a lead all the way through to quoting and invoicing and closing that sale. And we'll then finish off by looking at some of the reporting features in the system.
As we go through the webinar today, please do add any questions into the chat box and we can run through those throughout the webinar today. Okay, so first of all, we're going to look at the different tools that are available to generate leads in Bittrex 24. So as you can see on the graphic here, there are a variety of ways to generate those leads. And, and first of all, the kind of the most simplest way is by importing leads. So you're able through a CSV file to import leads. So if you're actually coming to Bittrex 24 um, from a, a previous CRM system, if you can export your lead data into a CSV, we can then import that directly into Bittrex 24. We can use the live chat feature so we can embed a live chat system onto your website so you can then communicate with potential customers and that interaction itself can automatically generate a brand new lead in the system and we'll have a look at that in more detail in a second. We have social media network integrations so if that's Facebook or Instagram you can have potential customers communicate with you and those conversations can then automatically be fed into Bittrex 24 and generate a brand new lead. We have CRM forms, very popular tool to generate leads so you can build forms in Bittrex 24 and you can embed those forms either onto your website, very commonly an inquiry form, for example. And when somebody submits their information on that form, it will automatically sync into the CRM and we can generate a brand new lead in the system. You do have the option to integrate telephony, so you can receive calls directly in the CRM system. And if that call, if that number that is calling is not already an existing number in the CRM system, we could automatically generate a new lead in the system. We're able to use the sites feature so you can build your very own landing pages using the sites module. So this kind of links into the marketing aspect. So we could create marketing campaigns and send a link to one of our landing sites and using some of those live chats and CRM form features, we would then be able to generate brand new leads into the system. So lots of these tools here linked together. And also you can manually create a new lead. So if maybe you have just spoken with somebody and you want to manually generate a new lead, you can add that manually into your CRM system. So those are some of the ways we can generate leads in the system. Let's just have a look at a few of those in some more detail. And first of all, we'll start off with looking at the live chat system. So we're in our Bittrex 24 system and we're just going to go into what we call the contact center. OK, so the contact center has different integrations and one of those that we're going to look at here is the live chat system. So what you're able to do is embed live chat widgets onto your website. So, for example, here on this landing page, we have a live chat set up. So I could then communicate with one of our team in Bittrex24 about any questions I have, for example. So it enables you to communicate with potential clients who are on your website. So, for example, on this one here, for example, I'm going to type out a message. OK, so we can send out messages into the system. And we can then answer those directly through the Bittrex 24 system. So we might want to get some more information from the potential customer. OK, so we're going to capture some more details here. And if we just go back now into our Bittrex 24 system, what we can then do is we can manage that request. So I can see it's come through here. We've actually created a brand new customer inside our CRM system. So it allows you to create brand new entities in your CRM platform. And so you can see here automatically that has generated a brand new lead in the CRM system. And we can then respond to that customer as well directly through 
the instant messaging system here. So I could respond to this person in the platform. It's automatically generated a brand new lead. So that's how simple it can be. It's captured all of the information from the live chat. So the live chat system, it's a great tool to be able to automatically generate a brand new lead in the system. You can see what page they've come from as well. So you're then able, you're able to communicate with that person on the live chat tool. Okay, so let's look at live chats. You're also able to build your very own sites in Bittrex 24 as well. So if we just go into the sites module, this is really useful if you want to create, say, promotional landing pages. That's a very common reason that clients create sites in Bittrex 24. So what you are able to do is if we go to the creator site, you can choose a template for the type of site you would like to create. So you can see here on these templates, there are a variety of industries that you can select from. If there are certain seasons coming up, you will see seasonal templates in here. We can see a Black Friday a template that's still available in here. Easter has just gone. We had some Easter templates in here. So what you can do is you can use these templates to build out your very own sites in the system. And these sites, it really is then a link to send your potential customers to that area. And we can then integrate some of those different tools we've talked about, such as live chat, such as web forms onto that landing page. So if we just go back here, for example, to our cake landing page, this is a site that we built in Bittrex 24. So it's really useful if you do have, say, certain promotions, you could build a site in the system and we can then embed some of those different tools that we've talked about, such as here, for example, a website form, or we could use the live chat system. So we could then communicate with our team. And in that we can automatically generate a lead if we use the live chat system, or if we submitted our details on the web form here, that could automatically generate a brand new lead in the CRM system. So you can start to see now how these different features interlink together. And another feature that is very popular for lead generation is using the marketing suite. So inside Bittrex 24, we have what we call CRM marketing. And this allows you to build your very own marketing campaigns that you can send out to your potential customers. And if you use other marketing tools such as MailChimp, you'll see very similar functionality inside the marketing module here. So you can see the different varieties of campaigns that you can create from email campaigns to SMS campaigns. If you send out Facebook Messenger campaigns here, so this is using the Facebook Messenger system to send out campaigns. And we also have voice broadcasting and audio calls. And what you can do is you can build out your campaigns and send these out to your potential customers. So for example, if you were going to use the email campaign feature, this is a very popular type of campaign. What we can do is we can select a template from the options here, and I can then build out my marketing campaign that I want to send out. And it's very simple to do. You don't need to have any kind of coding or design skills here. It is very simple to add your text and upload your images into the system. And this is where we link again into some of those different tools we've talked about. So if you built a, a site, for example, you could embed that link into your marketing campaign. So you could send that campaign out. You could then share that link to the landing page. So your people who are going on the campaign here can click on that link open up to that landing page. And then we have the tools such as the form and the live chat. So we can then start to engage with those potential customers and they can submit their information, which could automatically generate a new lead in the system. So all of these features here, they're not really separate 
inside Bittrex24. They all link together to help you generate new leads into your Bittrex24 CRM system. And when you have generated and built your campaign here, you could send this out to all of your contacts in the system, or we can create specific segments. So it may be based on the source, for example, or maybe based on what date the lead is created. So you can customize specifically what segment you send that campaign out to. And if you use MailChimp, the very similar feature is lists inside MailChimp. So that's a look at some of the different tools that we can use to generate leads inside Bittrex24. And what we'll have a look at now is more of a, a detailed overview of the CRM system inside Bittrex24. And if you do have any questions at the end of this part of the webinar, we will be able to spend some time to go through those questions. So please do add them into the chat box and we will run through those. Okay, so let's now go into our CRM system and we'll go through some of these details of our entities in a lot more detail now. Okay, so this is the Bitrix24 CRM system. And you can see at the top here, we have different entities inside our CRM system. The first entity here is leads. And leads are really for your general inquiries. So for example, if somebody submitted a web form, an inquiry web form, we would automate that and bring it into our lead database. And what you should do is with all of these leads is you should progress that lead through different stages here to try and qualify that lead. This section is all about qualifying the inquiry. And these stages here that you progress the lead through, they are fully customizable. So you can have as many or as few stages as you require. You can change the name, the colors of these stages. So the whole lead process here, you can see the different stages our leads are at right now. It's completely customizable to your specific lead qualification process. And there's different ways we can see those leads. So this is the list view. And we have a filtering tool, so you can filter down into those leads. So we might want to look at the leads of certain stages. It could also be based on maybe who is responsible for those leads in our sales team. So you can drill down into any specific leads inside your database. And we also have a slightly different view, and that is the Kanban view. So here across the top, you can see all of those different stages. And what we can do is we can progress the lead through those different stages like so. So it's completely up to you which display you use to progress those leads. And each lead you generate in here, you have a page for that specific lead. So we'll just go into the lead page here. And you can see on the left hand side, you have all of the lead details. So you can see all of the information about that lead. You can also create custom fields. So there may be specific types of detail or data that you want to capture. So you're able to create custom fields to capture that information. So for example, it may be a, a document. So you, we could add a file field to capture that document in the system. And all of the information inside here, you're able to drag and drop this around so you can change the structure. You can also add new sections. And so you can fully customize this left-hand side, this grid of information is fully customizable to how you would want to display this. And what you can do as well is you can set that display for certain people in the system. Okay, so it may be your sales team, you maybe have a new section in here with some sales information. So what you can do is you can set that view for a specific group of people inside the system. And then on the right hand side, we have what we call the activity feed. So this will show you all of the communications that has taken place with that specific lead. So if that's say some notes that you add, so at the top here, you have a note taking area. So I can add notes about the lead. 
I could also upload documents and information into here. So it allows you to capture as much information as you require about that specific lead in the system. So I can save that information and it will then get added into the activity section here. It is dated and I can see who from our team is responsible for that communication. You can see here we have email integration and we'll, we'll discuss this in a bit more detail later on in the webinar. But in summary, you're able to integrate with your mail provider. So that's a two way integration of all email communications with every entity in the system. So we can see all of those email communications. And further up here, we've got some planned activity. So in here, for example, we have a requirements call. So what you can do is you can schedule activity in the system and I can choose what date that is going to take place. So I can add the activity into here. So I can schedule that into here and that will get integrated into my calendar. We can add notes as we saw. If you integrate your email system, you have the email integration so you can add your email into here rather than having to send it from your external mailbox. You can use templates and that could have your signature and branding on there. And that will then automatically be sent out and we can see that integration there. Another feature you have is automation. And this is a really nice feature to, to allow you to automate either client communications or internal activity. So we can see the different stages that we have for our lead. And those are the stages that are completely customizable. And what we're going to do at each stage is we're running some automatic activity. So for example, as soon as the lead comes in, it comes in at the new lead stage, we're automatically sending out a thank you email to that lead, thanking them for their inquiry. And as we progress through here, we're automatically scheduling a call for the responsible person of that lead. Maybe you want to create tasks and so on. So there's lots of different types of automations you can run as you progress the lead through those customized stages. And we can also create triggers. And a trigger will automatically update the stage of the lead. And this could be useful, for example, if you have a, an email campaign you send out from the marketing module, if you click on a specific link on that email, we could then automatically update the stage of that lead to a set stage. So it could be they click on that link and we send them to the looking good stage. So you can automatically update the stage of the lead as well. So if we go to the first call stage now, we can see automatically it's now scheduled that introductory call for tomorrow. So that's where we can see the automation in play. And hopefully once we've qualified all of those leads, we can then convert that lead into a different entity inside the system. So what we can do is we can convert that into, for example, uh, maybe a contact. So we create a contact record for that person. And we could also create a, a deal, for example. And that's where we can then close the sales opportunity. So a deal is where you really work on targeted sales opportunities. And if you do create a deal, you can then select a pipeline to segment that deal into. And these pipelines, depending on what license you have. So for some licenses, such as the professional cloud edition and any on-premise edition, you can have as many pipelines as you like. And this allows you to then segment your sales. So here, for example, we're segmenting based on geographical location, but it could be based on different products or services you offer. It's completely customizable how you create those pipelines. So from there, we could create then a contact and company record. So we're moving from the lead and we're going to have our, all of our contacts that are registered. So here we have our contact database. And it's very similar in the functionality. So you've got a filtering tool and you can filter through this to find specific details. So I can go into here and find that contact and I can then open up that contacts page. Okay, so we'll just go into here and you can then see the contact page and it's very similar to how the lead information is displayed. So it's very easy to understand and familiarize yourself with the Bittrex 24 CRM. 
So on the left-hand side, you've got all of the, the contact details for the contact. And we can also see what company this contact is associated with. And in Bitrix 24 CRM, you can associate multiple organizations to that contact. So there could be several businesses they are associated to, and you can build that connection. And then on the right hand side, you can see all of that communication and history and dialogue, just like you can in the lead section. So all of that information is saved. What you can also do inside the contact area is you can then associate any deals and opportunities. So inside here, I might want to create a brand new sales opportunity. So I could create a brand new deal and select my pipeline. And I can also see all of the other deals that are currently associated to this contact. So I can see all of those deals here, what stage they're at in the system. And if we go into one of those deals, every single deal has a deal page. So I can open up that deal and it will show me all of the information specifically about that deal. So everything can be routed into its specific area of the CRM system. And once again, inside deals, just like we could with leads, how we could customize the stages, you can see here in the UK pipeline, you can see what stages we're going to progress this deal through. And once again, those stages are completely customizable. So for every single pipeline that you create, you can customize the stages. So you may have different sales strategies for different products or services that you sell. You could have a pipeline for every single one and customize the stages that the deal has to go through. Okay, and inside here, then what we can also do is you can see all of the information about the deal. You can add products into a deal. So you have a product catalog. So you can select what products are going to be associated to that deal inside the system. So we have a value now generated for that particular deal. And we're going to build out the quote now. So we're at the build quote stage. And inside the deal, we can then generate those documents. So if we go through here and select the quote page, it will open up a quote for us associated to that deal. So it will bring through all of that product information that we have selected for the deal. And what you can do is you can add your own documents. So your own templated documents. And we can then map across information from inside the CRM to generate you that document. So you may have quotes documents, you may have invoice documents. You can upload those templates into Bitrix24 and we can then generate that document for you using this document generator. So here I've selected our quote template. So what it's going to do here is it's going to pull in all of that information from the deal. So it's brought through all of that product information. We've added our branding into here on the template and we've then pulled in all of that data from the CRM. And I could then send this out to the customer via an email, for example. It's brought through the document. I could have a template ready, so I could then select that and send it out straight from here. So all of this is connected back to the deal. And when you generate quotes and invoices here, you can see the different stages. You can customize those stages that you progress a quote through. And once that's been won and approved, we can then generate an invoice for that particular deal. Okay, and for all of your quotes and invoices, you have a quote and an invoice database. So you're able to see all of the quotes that have been built across all of the, the CRM entities. So I can click into any of these and open up that quote page and see what stage those quotes and invoices are at. And if we just go back into the deal section here, you can see what stages each deal is at in the system. And if we just go on to the Kanban view, this view is, is quite nice because as you progress a, a deal through different stages, it automatically updates the value of that stage for you. Okay, so let's look at some of those features. And one last thing to mention in here is you also have a company database. And really the one key difference in the company database is that you can associate multiple contacts 
into a company. And just like in contacts, you can associate the companies to deals, to quotes and invoices. So every piece of information is linked back to the contact and the company. Okay, so that's a look at some of the entities in more detail from the CRM system. Okay, let's just see if we have any questions before we go through a case study. Okay, is it possible to set permissions on the CRM so only leads that a person is responsible for are viewable? So yes, you can absolutely. So let's just go back into the CRM. So if we go into the settings section, we have a permission area inside the CRM. And what we do is we can build out that permission structure for every type of role that you have in the system. So you may have a sales agent role, for example, we have an administrator role here. And for every role in the system, you can then customize that permission level. So you mentioned there about leads. So we may say, for example, on this role, you're only able to see the leads that you are responsible for. You can't see any other leads in the system or it may be you want to deny all access. So we have some sales teams, for example, they work on the deal section and other teams work on the lead section. So you might want to actually deny access to certain areas of the CRM system. So yes, you can set, uh, it's a fully customizable permission structure that you can build inside the CRM. Okay, so we had a question there, is there live two-way SMS? So if you want to integrate SMS, it, yeah, absolutely that is possible. So if we just go back into the contact center, so what we have the ability to do is to integrate, if we just go into, sorry, the app store, you can integrate with an SMS application to allow for integration of SMS. So in the marketplace here, we have the SMS providers that you can integrate with. Just as a word of warning, some of these providers, it may only be a one-way integration, so only for outbound SMS. You just need to check to make sure the provider you select is able to do two-way SMS that you've mentioned. We have, uh, we built an integration with Twilio, so we can use the Twilio functionality and that can then be a two-way SMS system through your CRM. Yes, we do have the capability to manage two-way SMS. And that's a really useful feature really because you can use the SMS feature during automation. So inside here, for example, if we go back into our automation rules, you can create SMS templates. And so once a, a lead gets to a certain stage in the system, you could automatically send out that SMS in the system and we've connected using Twilio. So that's something we can do for you. Or if you wanted to manually send an SMS here, you can send out that SMS from the system. So I can type out the SMS and send it through there as well. You can then see the SMS getting sent and you can see once it's been delivered. And um, yeah, with Twilio, we can have that as a two-way SMS integration. Okay, ringless voicemail. Um, sorry, I'm not sure about that. If you integrate telephony, there is the voicemail option. Uh, I'm not sure quite what you mean there by ringless voicemail, if you want to add some more details. Okay, is there a way to export or save individual leads with all the information and documents? So if you're wanting to export lead data, if we just go back into this list view, what you can do here is all of the information that you have in leads here, you can select what data fields you would like to display in this list view. So there may be certain custom fields that you capture or certain information. You can then bring that certain data into this list view. And what you can then do is you could filter. So you might want to filter on certain leads, 
maybe it's based on the stage, it's up to you exactly what that filtering would be. And what you can then do is you can export that data in the settings section. You can export this information into Excel. So it would export all of this information here. So you can customize and control what information is being exported from the CRM here. Okay, SMS via cell phone. Again, so I'm not quite sure what you mean by that. The SMS integration is, is through the Bittrex 24 system. So you would you would send out the SMS through one of the pages inside the CRM. And you can use the Bittrex 24 mobile app to add information about your leads or your contacts, but the SMS itself, it depends which, if you're talking about maybe what number you want to use, then you'd have to check what provider if you're able to port an SMS number to that provider. Okay, so now let's have a look at a case study. So we're going to go through really the full sales cycle, starting off with capturing the lead, and then we'll go through to generate a deal and a contact for that entity. And we'll see how we can progress the deal through those custom stages and generate a quote and then go through finally winning the sale and generating an invoice. So as we mentioned, there's lots of different ways you could generate leads in the system. One way we, we talked about was how you can create web forms. So you can build out a form in Bittrex24. That could be embedded onto your website, or you may want it on a landing page, just like we saw earlier on. But simplest to here, I've created a very simple form with some fields of information. And I'm going to submit this information. Okay, so that's been submitted and we, we've been notified here. So we can see that that form has been submitted successfully. Okay, and we can see here now 10 seconds ago, we've now automatically generated a brand new lead in the CRM. Okay, and we go into that lead page. You can see it's brought through all of that detail from the form. So it's brought through the name, the email and phone. And you can see further down here, we've automatically now sent out an email to that potential customer using the CRM automation features. So we've already sent out an email thanking them. We've already got in touch with them in the system. And we can now start progressing that lead. OK, so I'm going to update it now to the first call stage. So and now using the automation, we're now sending out an SMS to them. And we're also here introducing ourselves. So we've already scheduled an introductory call. So that's an automatic planned activity that has been scheduled inside the system. And maybe once I've had that call, I'm going to add some notes. Okay, so I'm going to add some notes about this. And I'm going to continue to progress this through those different stages. I'm going to tick off as I'm completing these tasks. And maybe now I've got some more information so I can add a product. So we mentioned how you can add products into the from the product catalog. So I'm going to now start adding that information into this lead. So we're capturing all of that data. We're automatically sending out communications and I'm going to keep progressing this lead. Maybe I'm going to set up a meeting with this potential lead potential customer. So I'm going to schedule this activity. OK, so you can see all of this planned activity. And just to mention as well, everything you capture inside the CRM, it will get added into the history tab. So you get a full audit trail of all of that activity inside every entity of the system. So I'm going to complete this lead and I'm going to generate a deal and a contact. And I'm going to select a pipeline now. I want to segment this opportunity into. So I'm going to choose our UK office. OK, and we're going to generate that entity.
Okay, so now if we go back into our contacts, it's now generated a deal and it's generated, if I just take the filter off, Oops, sorry about that. It's now generated a contact in our contact database and it will bring through all of that information. So you can see here it's brought through all of that information. It's brought through all of the lead data that we have generated and it's generated that deal in the system. So I can see what stage this deal is at and we can then start working on that sales opportunity. So let's just change the, the name here. So I'm going to change the name and add that information and I can then start progressing the deal through those different customized stages. Maybe at this stage, I also want to send out an email so I can use the email integration here and I can then start to work my way through any email communications that we have with that pot potential customer here. And just now while we're talking about that email integration, if that is something you're interested in, let's just go into the contact center. What you're able to do is using the mail integration, you can integrate with your mail provider into Bittrex 24. So if we go to connect a new mailbox, here are the different options that we have. So if you're Gmail, if it's Outlook, for example, what you're able to do is you're able to connect your mailbox into Bittrex 24. <coughs> So all of your communications with your leads or your customers, it's a two-way integration. So you could continue to send your emails from, say, your Gmail mailbox, and it will sync those with the associated contacts inside your CRM system. And vice versa. You've just seen how I've sent an email directly from the deal page. That would go into your sent box in Gmail, for example. So we have that two-way integration. So this is really useful if you want to keep up to date. So if you're the sales manager, you want to see all of the communications that has taken place with your teams and the potential prospects, you can see all of that information inside every entity of the CRM system. So let's just go back into that deal and continue to work on that sale opportunity. Okay, so I've got the SAM license here. Okay, so we've added the, the email here. I'm just going to have some more notes. Okay, so now we're going to move on to prepare a quote. And let's just generate that quote inside this system. So we've brought through the product information and I can then generate a quote inside the system. Okay, so using those templates that we've mentioned, I'm going to select the template. And it's brought through that information. So for now, I'm going to download this information. You could send it out straight away via an email. You could send a public link. It's completely customizable for how you would want to manage the sending of the quote. And once we progress it through those different stages, I can then approve the quote. And I'm going to now generate an invoice as well. Okay, and what you can then do is you could have an invoice template inside here. And I'm going to approve and say that the invoice has been purchased and it's been completed. And if we go back into our deal, I'm now going to move that deal into those stages to close the deal and mark the deal as one. So all of that information is saved in here, all of the quote detail is added into here. So we've got the quote information, we've got the invoice information, and it's all linked back to that contact. So I can go back into Sam's contact page and get all of that deal information, it's been fed into here, and all of the quote information as well. So it's all linked back to that contact. Okay, so that's how we can generate 
a sales opportunity starting off from a, a web form, how it brings through to generate a lead and then convert that to a deal. And using the quote and the invoice tools, we can then close that sales opportunity. And now let's take a look at some of the, the reporting features that are available inside the CRM as well. So inside Bitrix24, we have what we call a CRM analytics module. And this will capture all of the data from your CRM system and build out dashboard reports for you to use and interpret. So for example, here in our lead section, we've got a lead analysis page so we can see from our sales team, how many leads are currently active that they're responsible for, how many they've converted or lost in the system. And again, everything you've seen here, it's filterable. So I might want to look at the last 90 days, for example. So you can create different filters to com configure those reports. If you have your sales team, you might want to set sales targets. So we can, based on the deals or, or number of deals that are won, we can then start tracking our team through those different targets in the system. You can also build dashboards for every single pipeline that you create as well. So this is really useful. Say if we wanted to look at last year, for example, all of the data from our UK pipeline, we can then build dashboards for every single pipeline that we create. And there's lots of different reports that you can build out from scratch inside here. Another area for reporting is in what we call the reports wizard. And what this allows you to do is it allows you to build your very own report from scratch. So for example, here I could select the area that I want to report on from inside the CRM. And first of all, I can give this report a name and a description. And then I can select what fields I would like to display in this particular report. So you can those can be all those custom fields that you add, for example. And then from here, I could select a filter. So maybe I want to filter on a certain pipeline, for example. And you also have the option to add a chart. So if you want to add some kind of visual graphical representation for the report, there are different types of charts that you can generate as well. And once you've, you've done that, once you've created the report, it could just be a report for yourself, for example. Or what you also have the option to do is to share the report. So you could choose from certain group of people or maybe inside a certain department who is able to access that report. So you can configure who is able to view those reports. So that's another way using the report wizard. And, and as we mentioned kind of throughout the, the webinar today, you've got the view in leads and in deals. So this is a really nice view in, inside the list area. So you could export the data that's inside the list database here. You can create filters so you could filter down. So I might want to look at all of Max's leads, for example, and I can then export that data into Excel. So you can also use the list view here to really drill down into your data that's inside the CRM system. Okay, so that's a look at the case study. And just to talk about some of the differences between the, the cloud and the self-hosted in terms of the CRM, both editions include lead deals, invoices, and reporting. Just to bear in mind, there are limitations on the amount of the feature. That's kind of one of the key differences. So for example, as we mentioned about the number of pipelines that you can have for your deals, for the, the professional cloud and all the on-premise editions, you have unlimited pipelines. Some of the lower editions, you only have access to say one pipeline or 10 pipelines, for example. So just check to make sure you have enough of that feature when you're looking at the license. Both editions include custom record layout, so you can add custom fields and change the structure of how the information is displayed. And you're able to use that automation in the CRM as we saw as you progress through a lead or a deal to automate activity. Now with the self-hosted, we have access to the source code. So it is possible to actually build out further customizations and integrations. So quite a popular request is if you can change the actual header where leads and deals is displayed. Some people would like to change that to a different terminology. 
with the self-hosted, that, that's possible. So we could customize the name and terminology inside the CRM system. Okay, so just before we finish today, I just want to check if there are any other questions to run through. Okay, is there a, a way to print the communications that have occurred? There's no print page as such, no. So if you're talking about all of the kind of the email correspondence, all of the notes and activity, um, yeah, unless the only real option you have is inside here, for example. If we go into a lead page, what you have in here is all of the activity and information. Really, the only option is to print screen inside here because you've just got so much information. It's just not very practical to be able to print all of that. It is everything really should be in this page and you use this lead page to look at all of that information. And you've got a filtering tool in here to filter down into any specific communications. Now, any custom fields that you have inside here, you could generate a document which maps across any custom fields, but it wouldn't map in any of the activity here on the right hand side. And obviously, if you did generate a document, you could then print that document. But really, everything in the activity log here is not really available to be printed just because, as you can see in here, there's lots and lots of information. It just wouldn't be practical to print all of that. Okay, so that's uh, a look at the ability to print. So if you add custom fields where you generate a document, you could then print out that document. Okay, so thank you for your time today. I hope you found the Next Level CRM webinar useful. And if you do have any questions before the next webinar next week, please do email sales at interface.com and we can set up a time with you to discuss those questions in more detail. And here are a selection of the up and coming webinars that will be taking place. So hopefully you'll be able to join us for those. But thanks for your time today.